Hi, my name is Christos Sakratidis. I'm 22 years old and I'm part of the Melbourne Wealth Transformation Movement. My formal education is I've got a Bachelor's of Exercise and Sports Science and then I currently work as a Strength and Conditioning Coach in Melbourne. So I've been fortunate enough in the last four years to um, not only delve into these insights um, in my life, but also have uh, several experience, several people around me um, also derive an immense amount of relief, excitement, optimism, uh, and freedom from their own sort of um, preoccupation with am I good or am I bad? You know, the underlying question that burns at the heart of every human. There's nothing more that I'd like to bring into the world now than to just help any individual and every individual um, understand these insights because I have no doubt that I know the immense relief and love and joy um, and just honesty and liberation, reconciliation. I could go all day with words, but all those things that it brings now brings to the human life, things that, you know, almost seem unreal um, and the ability to actually properly understand ourselves and our place in the world without a single bit of doubt or a shred of insecurity, again, um, just makes me so excited. You can just see the fundamental goodness in each other and genuinely start to um, sympathize with each other's situation, which just makes the relationship um, unlike anything you experience uh, prior to understanding the human condition. So I really, really encourage everyone. Yes, these insights will appear confronting at first because it has just been a long no-go zone subject um, for all of us, myself included. I'm no exception. I, I couldn't hear the information at first, but I persevered. Um, and, you know, sure enough, if you stick it out and you just give these a chance, um, a whole world unimaginable opens up of just clarity and just the ability to own yourself properly for the first time. Um, and there's an immeasurable amount of happiness that awaits after that. Um, I, you know, these, these insights no doubt saved my life um, and there's no looking back for me. And I'd love nothing more than to help others do the same. So I came across uh, the World Transformation Movement um, and in particular, Jeremy Griffith's uh, definitive book, um, Freedom Here through my uncle Sam, who's uh, actually a co-founder of WTM Melbourne, World Transformation Movement Centre in Melbourne. And basically, I was at the age of about 18 and um, my uncle has been a long-time supporter of these insights and there's a lot of change one goes through um, when adjusting from being an adolescent to being an adult in the world. Uh, there's a lot of unexplained madness, um, not only in the world, but in myself and most of which, in fact, all of it, um, I just couldn't look at. Um, I was, you know, a, like most people, um, didn't really have any sort of, wasn't really looking to find an answer or explain myself. I was just, you know, didn't even want to go there. It was a, it was a no go zone. Um, but I was fortunate enough to have, um, my uncle who, had already understood the human condition um, by reading and studying Jeremy Griffith's insights into it. And then um, from there was able to connect me to the subject and explain basically how it made sense of my entire life um, from why I was angry and pissed off with the world, um, why I was insecure, where my um, basically capacity for both good and evil came from, where it stemmed from, where that duality in my behavior came from and, and also where the duality in the environments I was in, you know, why were, wasn't my family ideal and why weren't they co always cooperative and loving and why were people dogmatic on each other, why were we manipulative, you know, the um, just the differences you deal with at schools and between mates and just in the world, you know. Um, and, and slowly but surely I actually started to um, be able to hear and then see what it was my uncle was talking about and then at, at some point it was... Um, I had built enough courage to want to undergo my own quest for truth, to understand what it was that I was actually here to do and, and, and what it was that was, was fueling all the madness around me. And, um, and that was when I um, decided to read Freedom for Myself and almost immediately just the excitement and relief um, that I got from reading the book once I really verified and validated that everything Jeremy Griffith is talking about with regards to our human condition is absolutely true. Um, the insights are just so honest and that is confronting. That was confronting for me at the beginning, 
But the more I delved into it, the more I just saw that the incredible uh, compassion and honesty that made sense of every part of my being and everything that had ever underlied any bit of uncertainty or insecurity in my life, um, slowly but surely, um, just tied all the loose ends. It allows me. It allowed me to see my own story and my position in the world properly and honestly for the first time. Um, and then from there, it was just just an incredible journey of of unraveling the truth about myself and being able to see the fundamental goodness um, in myself. But it was what's incredible about understanding the human condition is that you know through Jeremy's um, instincts versus intellect explanation um that despite the common uh lie that that we've all um necessarily had to sort of um or had to adopt that we have savage animalistic instincts and that's you know the cause of our mad behavior and that it's our brain's job to parent it it turns out to be the exact opposite that science now actually explains and for me it was incredibly um it was amazingly obvious and yet relieving to know that humans actually have loving cooperative instincts and it was when our conscious mind went in search for knowledge that uh the two when you know uh the two came into a clash for management of uh, for management of the individual's life um in each and every human in myself um and it was the brain retaliating by the instincts expecting a certain way of behavior and the brain retaliated and became angry egocentric and alienated or as jeremy terms um upset um but the beauty of understanding that is that it's the angry, egocentric, and alienated behavior that we need to love and understand. And that was what I learned to love and understand in myself. And it was only through that was I able to genuinely um, start to become free of my own anger, my own retaliation, my own indifference to others, and my own, um, I suppose, just anger, um, which was fueled by an insecurity of, um, that needed knowledge. The only thing that was going to settle that in me was knowledge of myself. And I needed to see how I was fundamentally good in all this and how despite having been, you know, an angry, uh, indifferent, divisive individual in my own life, that underlying all that was that I was still good. And there was a very good reason for that. Um, and Jeremy just explains it so holistically. Um, and he credits some of the best, some of the most honest, profound thinkers in human history and collates them all in one, in one, holistic view of the human journey that ties together you know things like the difference between men and women and difference between races and polarized politics um you know just gets to the bottom of every single uh controversial topic um that has perplexed mankind for so long and explains it so rationally so logically you'll almost think had it had it had it and we see these sooner um and yet it's those exact answers that provide the incredibly optimistic, um, relieving and exciting future that is now available for all humans. Um, the job has been so far to understand um, the human condition first and foremost within ourselves and how that translated into the world and into all the angry, upset behavior that we do live at every day. Um, but it's been a much too confronting subject to be able to acknowledge um, until eventually we're able to explain and defend the good reason for it, which is, from my experience, exactly what freedom um, has done for me. Um, and now I just have an incredible optimistic view and exciting view. And it has helped me mend all my relationships with everyone around me because I don't have to be um, operating from the basis of I'm not good anymore. I get to live each day operating from the basis of knowing my fundamental goodness and genuinely being absolutely uh, sure in that because I've got a scientific first principle biology based explanation that I can refer to any time if I ever, ever have any um, uncertainties for me with Jeremy's work. Um, I mean, I could really talk for hours on end about how many incredible connections there is to make, but some really big ones for me was definitely, well, the Adam Stork story just um, so beautifully depicts the clash between the instincts versus intellect in a way that, has never been depicted before where for once the angry egocentric and alienated guy or girl is actually the hero of the story of life on earth because that was the job to search for understanding and and, and so long has have those 
traits being condemned in humans and looked at as bad and undesirable. And for the first time, science has the capacity to actually be able to explain, defend, and know the good reason um, for those behaviors having, you know, become present in um, humanity in the first place. And for me, that was incredibly relieving because only now after understanding the human condition, do I see how much my life was spent escaping and not thinking about and deriving relief from those parts of myself that only ever concluded that I was bad um, until I had the very good reason and defense and biological explanation that Jeremy gives us into why it is that I do have these behaviors and I present these behaviors. Um, and more importantly, how I'm still good despite having been, ha- having been um, all that. Um, so that brought incredible relief to me. Um, and the second thing was, well, being an eldest son, um, it was incredibly important for me to understand uh, my own father's egocentricity because you grow up as a son and I always wanted dad's love. And as you get older, it's, Quite, becomes quite combative between you know for me it became quite combative um, between me and my father um, because you start to retaliate and and really what I started to see in my dad things I didn't like about myself and it was only um, again through understanding the human condition within myself that it dissipated that um, to the degree where I'm able to have a genuine honest great relationship with my father and understand the the amazing hero heroics um, and good see the goodness in the um, degree of egocentricity, someone like my father has had to um, partake in the human journey um, as opposed to resenting it, which was just coming from my retaliation of not knowing, you know, why it is that this behavior was present and why I was subjected to it. Um, and I'm just able to leave that whole, that whole mess behind. And, um, and it does wonders for any part of relationship. And that's just an example of it. And I've been fortunate enough that my dad actually, you know, has uh, now been able to understand the human condition as well, um, which has just paved a, a gateway for a whole different kind of relationship that I never actually expected I'd experience in my lifetime. And I imagine that a lot of young men don't expect to experience with their father on a, such a genuine level where it's okay to bring, to reintroduce sensitivity and honesty and, you know, all that old egocentric hierarchies and, um, can just go and you can just talk to your father on an equal footing honestly about the world and you can just see the fundamental goodness in each other and genuinely start to um, sympathize with each other's situation which just makes the relationship um, unlike anything you experience prior to understanding the human condition. So I've been fortunate enough in the last four years to um, not only delve into these insights um, in my life, but also have uh, several experienced, several people around me um, also derive immense amount of relief, excitement, optimism, uh, and freedom from their own sort of um, preoccupation with, am I good or am I bad? You know, the underlying question that burns at the heart of every human. There's nothing more that I'd like to bring into the world now than to just help any individual and every individual um, understand these insights because I have no doubt that I know the immense relief and love and joy um, and just honesty and liberation, reconciliation, I could go all day with words, but all those things that it brings now brings to the human life, things that you know almost seem unreal um, and the ability to actually properly understand ourselves and our place in the world without a single bit of doubt or a shred of insecurity, again, um, just makes me so excited. And I love nothing more than be able to support it. Um, so I really, really encourage everyone Yes, these insights will appear confronting at first because it has just been a long no-go zone subject um, for all of us, myself included. I'm no exception. I I couldn't hear the information at first, but I persevered. Um, And, you know, sure enough, if you stick it out and you just give these a chance, um, a whole world unimaginable opens up of just clarity and just the ability to own yourself properly for the first time um, and there's an immeasurable amount of happiness that awaits after that. Um, I, you know, these, these insights no doubt saved my life um, and there's no looking back for me and I'd love nothing more than to help others do the same. Um, so I really encourage any, anyone um, who's interested to give it a really good crack. Um, watch the first four videos um, on the website. They're also amazing. Um, visit www.humancondition.com um, and get in contact with the team if you've got any concerns. Uh, because we're all here to help and it just 
has an incredibly exciting um, conclusion for all humans now. Um, we are all good and we've been waiting for these answers and we just needed the proof and we've got that.